What is that doorway on Mars? Where does it lead to? What do you notice in this image? Do you see anything? You would probably respond, this is an entryway carved into the hillsides, much like one of the thousand others ancient people made on Earth. The issue is that this picture was actually shot on Mars. The image was captured by the masked camera on NASA's Mars rover Curiosity on Sol 3466, May 7, 2022, and provided by NASA. The Curiosity rover's mast-mounted camera system with a zoom feature is referred to as the mast cam. Mast cam includes cameras that can focus, zoom in, and record photos and videos quickly to enable close investigation of far-off things. Hence, this outdated technology is displaying what unmistakably appears to be an entrance, but is there a doorway on Mars? There isn't a doorway on Mars, to put it briefly. The lengthy response is that it is complicated. Let's attempt to comprehend what is taking place. As a result, Perseverance is carrying out its mission on the Red Planet and sending data back to Earth on a constant basis. The entire information flow that we are receiving is from Mars to Earth, making for a pleasant journey through the solar system. The outstanding camera mounted on the rover provides some of the most crucial data. This camera, known as the mast cam, is situated on the rover mast at a height of 2 meters. Since it was designed and built on Earth, the technology utilized to create this camera is extraordinary, if not from another planet entirely, then from Mars. The camera can send about 148 megabits each soul, or Martian day, and it can snap images. With the use of this incredible tool, we can zoom in on rocks and select a few that may still contain traces of previous life. We can also better understand the landscape surrounding the rover and search for soil textures that may indicate whether or not Mars formerly supported microscopic forms of life. Yet, there is still another thing we can do, which is to take images of side hills and ask ourselves, is that a doorway? This is what recently occurred. Other people questioned whether that portal was proof that extraterrestrials may have lived on the Red Planet in the past. The rover photographed the door on the Gale Crater's major massif, Mount Sharp, where it first touched down in 2012. Due to its likeness to some ancient Egyptian artifacts, this door initially appears to be a pharaonic tomb door and is barely a little over one foot tall. This is the first indication that door isn't there. We can notice that this door is actually quite small if we look at the specific frame where it appears. A solid rock face can also be seen at the back of the gloomy interior if the contrast in the dark areas of the image is increased. Hence, even if an alien created this door, it must have been a very small and foolish extraterrestrial. Why would it create a door that has no purpose? Thus, we can declare with a high degree of certainty that this is not an alien structure because there are some rational geological explanations for the existence of this feature that resembles a door on Mars. But, we are aware that logical answers won't dissuade the conspiracy theorists who contend that the gateway is actually proof of life on Mars and that scientists are covering up something. But consider this, if they were attempting to cover up, they wouldn't be making the pictures public. Thus, it doesn't seem like a conspiracy is very likely. But, there is a lesson for serious extraterrestrial life researchers as well. Extraordinary claims call for equally remarkable evidence, as noted by astronomer Carl Sagan. According to this axiom, researchers hunting for proof of extraterrestrial life require considerably stronger proof than, say, someone looking for a geological structure. And despite decades of looking, scientists have not discovered any proof of life on Mars. There is still a chance that Mars ever supported life. We might still come upon some preserved remains of early cellular life. So it seems odd that one would suddenly discover an artifact like a gateway. If you're still here watching the movie, it implies you have a burning desire to learn more about the Red Planet, so be sure to subscribe now and push the bell notification. So what is this door? How did it come to be? 
We suggested that this feature's existence on Mars could have some reasonable and, in fact, geological causes. Someone with even a little geological knowledge would probably not mistake the feature for a door if you asked them. So let's try to imagine what a geologist may be thinking and see what it might look like. They would first notice the thin, repetitive layers of sandstone that make up the entire rock face and would probably assume that these were the eroded remnants of dunes and cemented sand. All of this will be repeated in relation to the geology of Mars. We also know that, in the distant past, these dunes covered the stream and lake deposits that Curiosity had previously explored throughout its laborious ascent up through the sedimentary rock layers that comprise Mount Sharp. The steep, rather straight fissures running up the granite face would probably be visible to a geologist. Geologists refer to these oddities as joints. In a nutshell, joints are fractures that often become visible after erosion removes the weight of underlying rock strata. You need to take care around them because if you were to get too close to one of these rocks with joints, it might fall on you. Some geologists believe that the rock fragment that is lying on the ground right in front of the entrance is actually a portion of the original rock that broke apart and fell to the ground because gravity still exists even if we are on another planet. Many joints can be seen, including the one that creates the smooth wall that aligns with the left side of the door image. One joint is evident on the left of the door image. The right side of the feature is formed by another joint. From a broader standpoint, it is clear that the entire hillside has been eroded back. What we are seeing on Mars is essentially the outcome of geological processes that occurred over the span of the planet's existence. Mars has a complex geological history. By examining the sand and dust surrounding the slope and using some models to describe the geological processes operating on Mars, scientists may be able to determine when the door developed. The rock may have fractured recently, or it may have occurred in the past. The doorway is essentially a location where the wind has been able to scour out the poorly cemented sand and dust from the rock face a little more efficiently, in an area defined by the joints on each side, based on what we know and what we can understand. The base of an underlying bed of sandstone is the door lintel, and the sloping top of a bed of sandstone provides the gentle ramp that leads up to the door. Artifacts on Mars nonetheless, this is not the first time that humans appear to notice anything peculiar in images taken by rovers or probes. Consider the allegation that, based on images from NASA's Mars Exploration Rover Opportunity, there may be mushrooms on Mars. Instead, we later learned that they were simply hematite concretions, tiny sphere-shaped fragments of the mineral hematite, even if scientists are still debating how they came to be. This image is another well-known illustration of how we recognize the familiar even when it isn't there. This surface feature on Mars was captured by Viking Orbiter in 1976, and some observers noted that it resembled a human face. When the Mars Global Surveyor Orbiter captured the image on the right in 1998, the riddle was eventually clarified. As you can see, a higher resolution allows us to distinguish between truth and fiction. Periidolia, which refers to this condition in which we perceive something that isn't actually present, is a brain-based phenomenon rather than an external one. When you perceive faces in a wallpaper's haphazard pattern or clouds that resemble dogs, people, angels, or other supernatural beings, you are experiencing periidolia. Take a look at this picture of Jupiter. For instance, it looks pretty angry, isn't it? We would like to mention one of the most well-known and impressive periidolia examples before we conclude this video. The Horsehead Nebula is shown here. Because it is just a huge cosmic cloud of gas and dust, we can be certain that it is neither a horse nor some strange alien artifact. The Horsehead Nebula was researched by researchers from around the globe who discovered that it is a location where gases are formed. It is part of the Orion constellation, which may be seen well in the Southern Hemisphere's summer evening sky as well as the Northern Hemisphere's winter evening sky. Images and colors show a rich red hue that results from ionized hydrogen gas that is primarily behind the nebula and is brought on by the bright star Sigma Orionis, which is close by. 
High quantities of dust confined into interstellar clouds produce regions of nearly total opacity and transparency in the Horsehead Nebula region and the nearby Orion Nebula. Darkness in the Horsehead Nebula is primarily caused by dense dust that prevents stars behind it from shining, whereas brilliant areas at the base of the nebula are young stars that are only beginning to form. Yet, only if you capture the visual data in a filter sensitive to the appropriate region of the electromagnetic spectrum does it appear to be a horse. The recognized structure will suddenly disappear if we change wavelengths by just viewing the nebula via different filters. What do you think of this video, guys? Did you know that periidolia is a real thing? Please let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the channel again soon.